Um, we wear a lighting crew. We do the lighting trailer and um, just take turns and using the desk and swapping over all the spotlights. And um, could you sort of say what's involved in the process is getting to the stage where it's actually on as a production? Well, we have to set the lights up, which takes a long time. Yeah, a couple of Sundays. And then um, we have to get used to the board and the spotlights and then we just work on them. It's a lot of setting up, though. it's more setting up than working. And um, what's the hardest thing about what's the hardest thing about this job? I'm getting over the fights. <laughs> what amongst yourselves? Yeah, like, if, there's if there's two people on the desk, like one of them will be saying, "We put the lights up now, we put the lights up now," and the other one will be saying, "No, we don't put them down." And, this, and so the lights will be going. <laughs> and what, what do you think students get out of being involved in a production like this? We get the equipment from Crossnet, we borrow it from Jonathan, who's around here somewhere. Schools mixer. This is the schools, and we plug it all in and hope it all works, basically. Thank you. And Sherry, what is the hardest thing about this job? Why does Sherry get all the questions? <laughs> the hardest thing is getting blamed for all the problems when everything goes wrong. Yeah. And really it's the actor's yeah. fault. The audience is always know when something goes wrong because it'll feed back and, and they all say, Oh no, this sounds terrible. Yeah. And um, so is Oliver going how you expected it was going? Um, well, pretty much. I mean, we've been having more problems with the radio mics than we expected, but... Basically, it's not too bad. Well, basically, I'm supposed to know everything that's going on with the change of scenes, um, entrances and exits, lights and sound, just the whole thing to make sure it runs smoothly, the performance. And what's the hardest thing about that? I think probably having to know everything all the time. Like people run up to you and say, oh, what's happening with this? Have we got this for scene two? Who's supposed to enter now? And you have to know it all. Well, you're supposed to know it all. <laughs> Plus, I'm supposed to take notes and run around doing things for Mr. Manners and so. Mm -hmm. And what do you think students get out of being involved in a production like this? Well, I think for the cast, or for everyone really, it's an experience of having to work with other people, which they don't get. And they, they don't realise when they start, you know, the cast is like, becomes a big family, because you see them all the time. You know, and people make new friendships and break up friendships and <laughs> things like that. <laughs> which I won't go into in great detail, but because they see each other all the time, it's different from normal social activities. I really like drama. I really I liked watching the production come together from the beginning and improve and get better and and being able to um, you know make suggestions and see them work and things. But it's also very frustrating because the kids, lots of them are very young in this production because the chorus is mostly like 13, 14 year olds. And you know, when you get them all in a big group, it can be pretty hard to work with them. But it's, it's good being a student because the other students will talk to you, whereas they won't, you know, the teachers are different. They won't come up to them and say, oh, you know, they sort of come up to me and say, how do you think Mr. Manners is going to react if I say this? <laughs> and so I get to be in between the two, and I sort of try and put their side of the story to him and his side of the story to them, mm. which works sometimes. My role in the production is to coordinate the costumes. And what does that involve? It involves getting together the sketches 
that would be suitable for each of the characters and um, organising the materials that the kids needed to go with it so they had some sort of sample of what to go by. And so the students made their own costumes? Most of the students made their own costumes, or their parents did anyway, yes. Production, students get a large amount of self-esteem. They learn about themselves, they learn about other people, they develop a pride in themselves and a sense of worth. And I think all of those sorts of things are very important in child's development. Mm -hmm. And so what are your expectations of Oliver? Just that everybody enjoys it and they have fun. Whether it succeeds in making money or not is incidental, just that the kids enjoy themselves. Um, you probably have to fill it with white. Well, I've learned a few skills from working in the last couple of musicals. I worked on um, Jesus Christ Superstar, mainly just as a helper doing chorus. And then I took more of a, um, a role in the makeup for Greece. But both of those were a lot easier, I think, to do. They didn't call for a lot of specialised makeup. Um, Greece was easier because most of the kids were playing kids their own age, they didn't have to be aged, they just had to look like normal teenagers. A um, few of the hairstyles for the boys were different and that was fun to do, but this one uh, means that we've got to work with beards and, and, and sideburns and side whiskers and whatever they're called, mutton chop whiskers. and. Um, I've got to try and make a wig for Fagin and he's got to have a false nose so that would be working with nose putty and it's not that easy and also Fagin's, um, not Fagin, Bill Sykes has got to look a bit beaten up and scarred so we might have to work on a few scars for him. So I think it would be more challenging, more fun to do. <laughs>
put your will in order. Um, like the one in Oliver is being Oliver. Um, and like I have to, I have to be in not, I'm not always very loud. I have to be quite, quite quiet most of the time. And I'm like, gotta be, I can get, sometimes, I think once or twice I get a bit vicious or something. Do you find that difficult? Um, trying to be what quiet. Uh, I suppose I'm sort of depends. <laughs> Hey David, what's your role? Um, my role is on the study of And what does that involve? Well, the same thing as being, being quiet and all that. You mm -hmm. just have to do quite a bit of singing and dancing. Right. And you were auditioned for Yeah, and um, we went through first with Mrs. We went to Mrs. Ridgeway. The, Mrs. She's the orchestra. She teaches to the orchestra. And, um, but we first had to sing Mary's Love to Mrs. To Mrs. Ridgeway. And then I think we had to go make up a dance to Can you sing yourself? Yeah, sing yourself, yeah. Important about well, you've got to um, watch the main role to see what, what you have to do in the dances. You've just got to watch and take, take in what the main role is doing. So in the rehearsals, um, it's Bernard that's actually doing it most of the time mm -hmm. when you're watching? Yeah, that's, that's mainly, but mm he -hmm. does the dances sometimes. Yeah. And what about... Is there a night where the understudies play? Yeah, Wednesday night. because I'm only supposed to be 13 years old and I'm a thief as well. What's the hardest thing about your roles? There isn't a hard thing about roles because so, my role is sort of me and it's really easy to do, etc. Heaps of friends. 
and like a big social life. And it, it sort of gives people a part that they feel really wanted and everything. That's really cool, like, have heaps of fun. Gives people more confidence and they can stand up in front of people and not be afraid. And also we make so many friends, but I just hope that once it ends we don't lose all the friendship and that. villain, Bill Sykes. Mm -hmm. And what's so hard about playing that character? Having a negative view, I guess, on all your lines, being evil and grim, bashing people up. Um, having a negative view, I guess, on everything. I guess that's the hardest. I mean, portraying something that you're not really used to portraying is the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. Now, auditions came up and I thought, yeah, I'll go in, you know. I didn't... I didn't I didn't at all think that I would get the part whatsoever. And um, my audition was pretty hectic. Hold up. Come here now. And Fagan, where is my money? Yeah. Yeah, just a little more with the eyes. Let me see it, mate. Fagan, don't get half my money. Yeah. Mm. It's a bit off the twig. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's, you know, a psychopath. He's still is. This guy is dangerous. Mm. You're like his dog or like anybody. You're like his grandmother. You should get the money from it, right? Yeah. Pleased with the part that you got? Oh yes, the very pleased. I mean, it's either that or nothing, so <laughs> of course you'll be pleased. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Mr. Mr. Bumble, Beadle of the Workhouse, for, um, where all of us first introduced into the play. Right. And what's the hardest part about being involved in a production like this? I suppose it would be the uh, having to do the tests and assignments and homework at the same time. And what's the hardest part about playing your character? Being fat. Being fat. I have to be fat and act fat. And how's that done? Like, uh, uh, do you have pillows stuffed up your shirt? Yeah. You do? Yeah, and I have to, yeah. The big, big, big fat man on the double chin. Right. <laughs> Sit up on it to the end of Charlie. Will you sit? No, I can't. Will you sit? I shall scream. I don't steps involved in getting your character where it is now? Um, I suppose I watched the movie. You watched the movie? I've seen it a couple of times before. Right. 
Um, what are your expectations of the production? Well, it's going to go well, isn't it? I hope it's going to go well. Better go well. We've done a lot of work, so it should. Someone rich to my thoughts start. 